The hour of great mercy. Together, you, you expired, expired Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls, souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O fount of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Together, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. 
On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For 
for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us. And on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us. And on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion,
Son. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world.
Let us pray. Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. A prayer to divine mercy. O greatly merciful God, infinite goodness, today all mankind calls out from the abyss of its misery to your mercy, to your compassion, O God, and it is through this mighty voice of misery that it cries out, Gracious God, do not reject the prayer of this earth's exiles. O Lord, goodness beyond our understanding, who art acquainted with our misery through and through, and know that by our own power we cannot ascend to you. We implore you, anticipate us with your grace, and keep on increasing your mercy in us, that we may faithfully do your holy will all through our lives and at death's hour. Let the omnipotence of your mercy shield us from the dust of our salvation's enemies, that we may with confidence as your children await your final coming, that they belong to you alone. And we expect to obtain everything promised us by Jesus, in spite of all our wretchedness. For Jesus is our hope, through his merciful heart, as through an open gate, we pass through to heaven. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. 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 St. Faustina, pray, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you. 
mercy to earth reflection for willful polluters. Eternal Father, we acknowledge that the degree of human intervention, often in the service of business interests and consumerism, is actually making our earth less rich and beautiful, ever more limited and grey. Laudato Si 34 Moreover, we acknowledge that our freedom fades when it is handed over to the blind forces of the unconscious, of immediate needs, of self-interest, and of violence. Laudato Si 105 And so we pray for our brothers and sisters, especially those business and government leaders and those consumers who knowingly harm your created order for the fulfillment of worldly desires. We pray that through your merciful grace, their hearts will soften, their minds will open, and they will respond to the cries of the poor and of the earth. Merciful Father, may all who willfully despoil your creation, its lands, waters, ecosystems and climate adopt new lifestyles as they turn toward your embrace. May they know your divine mercy, O Lord, and may they, like us, be forgiven for all sins committed through the temptations of prosperity. This is Daily Reflections on Divine Mercy from My Catholic Life. Today's reflection is entitled, Justice or Mercy? It's proper to speak of both the justice of God as well as His mercy. They are not opposed to each other. His justice will be dealt to those who refuse to repent, just as it will be dealt to the angels who refused to serve God. But for now, it's more proper to say that God is merciful. In fact, the evil one would love for us to become consumed with the idea that God is only just and that he imposes his judgment upon us continually. When this idea is accepted, it's hard to understand that God actually withholds his justice as long as we are open to his mercy. Seek his mercy, believe in it, and run to it. Do not doubt it for a moment. Know that God offers it day and night, and never tires of lavishing it upon you. When you are faced with the fear that comes with facing his justice, turn your eyes to his mercy, and you will be able to easily turn from all sin as you bask in the rays shining forth from his heart. Which of these two images of God do you reflect upon more often? Are you frightened by God's justice? Or are you consoled by his mercy? Both can be useful, but never at the expense of the other. We should never presume on God's mercy and we should never become fixated on his justice without immediately remembering his mercy. Ponder his mercy today more than anything, and you will have no need to fear his justice. Let your heart experience his love and turn to him with full confidence and trust. Let us pray. Lord, I am aware that you are just and will issue your justice upon me if I fail to turn to your mercy. Therefore, I do turn to your mercy. I seek it with all my heart. I love you, Lord, and I desire to love you more. Give me the grace to open my eyes to your radiant heart and to be open to all that you wish to bestow. Jesus, I trust in you.